In today's video, we're gonna be talking about this comment that was left under my Aslia video. So if you're interested, like, comment, and subscribe, turn on your bell post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I drop a video. Let's get into today's video. The reason why I'm responding to this comment is because for one, it stood out to me. Two, there's nothing but false facts in this comment. Three, this is me doing this for entertainment. This is not serious. The people who leave negative comments tend to take a chunk out of their day to write a whole paragraph now that's something i'm not gonna do under a video i dislike this is her paragraph right here i'm just gonna be honest i think most of your feelings are being from growing up and or living very poor on top of having strong loyal personality so first and foremost i didn't grow up poor I was very spoiled. And just because you grow up very spoiled does not mean you have to kiss ass when people go out and flex their money on other people. No, I don't have to do the same thing. I'm just humble. When you become a certain age, you can decide whether or not you want to be materialistic or real. I decided to be real. I want to be humble. I don't want to flex anything in front of anybody. What's the point in that? We're supposed to uplift people, not flex on people. Even if I did grow up poor, it has nothing to do with that because if I grow up poor, I'm going to work my ass off to get where I want to be. I didn't grow up poor. If only y'all knew that, but y'all don't. <laughs> I grew up very well taken care of, clearly, but like I said, that does not mean I have to flex on everybody about that. But it's sad that people assume that you're poor because you don't like that's actually really weird like why do you want to flex on your subscribers we got you there we, we don't care anymore like stop buying all these cars stop moving house from house we get it we get it but are you really the show i got my first car you don't see me flashing it all over social media i got a little paul walker car you know a little sports car you don't see me posting it on the internet like that. I'm just very grateful that God has blessed me. If I wanted a 2023 car, I could have went out and got one. Everything is the same. And guess what? Guess where we all go when we all the way? Three hours later. To the same place. The ground. So it doesn't really matter. She also said, your feelings aren't really towards Oslia, but more so from your own trauma and triggers that she's brought forward on yourself. not true at all she's way off but i do know what she's talking about i've been through it i've had neighbors who use their trauma against me and then their mom later on yelling at them saying everything they were saying to me i know exactly what she's talking about i wouldn't be where i am today i would not be on the internet most certainly for thousands of people to judge me every day i would be in my room balled up under a cover Everything she's done, as you said, normal for a young individual, you've made the situations more elaborate than they are. She films her life, therefore she will film what's being drastically changed, which we can tell drastic change from bragging. At this point, I just feel like they only buy multiple cars every so often to keep their content going. A lot of people are running out of content to make, so they just buy stuff. And you notice how a lot of these YouTubers, they all go out and do where they go get their nails done, their toes done, eyelashes, uh, hair. Like they all do the same stuff. And it's all for And then they'll go out and pay for a photo shoot, post it on Instagram. They're running out of ideas and it's sad that they have to spend money to keep their content going they can't just be natural do you really have to buy multiple cars to keep your content going like that's materialistic stuff whether you want to see it or not subscribers will ask and bombard with why the new background where's your old blah 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 and why aren't you blah 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 uh, it makes sense as a vlogger with a huge audience to vlog large changes otherwise everyone would be up about those changes also success will always come with changes not really L let's let's look at jay-z you don't see jay-z flashing money on the gram flashing a bunch of cars on the gram he's a billionaire but you see him walking down the street and he looks like 
you don't have to flash everything is what I'm trying to say. And it's sad that people kiss so much to where they'll defend that person as being materialistic. Maybe they're materialistic themselves. And that's why the shoe fit. But if you know me, you know I don't like materialistic people. If I want to flex on somebody, I will. I do that. But that's just not the life I want to live. I'm not living my life to impress anybody. I'm living my life to impress myself, to be humble, and uplifting others and letting others know that it's possible to be where you want to be. Like the Mustangs, she may have bought one thing thinking she loved it. But as an example, she could have bought a Halloween costume for Fashion Nova and thought it'd be high quality or up to her expectations when it didn't match her expectations. And you know what? Mustangs are Mustangs. Like I said in that Aslia video, she had a Mustang that she bought. She got rid of it and she realized she missed it and she bought another one. Huh? <laughs> That's not drastic change. She sold her first Honda, I believe. She went to go get the same exact one. Two different cars purchased twice. That's not drastic change. Before I continue to, I just want to say that she's comparing costumes to a car. <laughs> costumes, I get that. You know what I'm saying? But cars, that's not like buying a costume at all. Mustang, they're like 40000 Unless you buy them off somebody, they're probably like thirty, maybe twenty. dollars $40,000? That's not a costume, girlfriend. And you can't <laughs> compare that to a costume. <laughs> and that's what it is. And no one's going to change my opinion. Social media is wild. I mean, since people like to assume and leave negative comments, I might as well make it into views, right? Why not? I mean, your favorite YouTuber is doing it and y'all still kiss so I guess it doesn't matter. I'm just a humble person, so. I'm not a fan and also grew up poor and realized most of my issues with those in success is because they developed in financial freedom I wasn't able to. It is causing irritation or frustration as they have the financial freedom you wish you could. If I wanted financial freedom, I could have been did it. I have multiple opportunities to do whatever I wanted to do. I just blow my money on. If I wanna spend my money on different cars, I could do that. And a lot of people that be getting these cars, some of them are scammers, some of them write fake checks, some of them, they make payments on cars, or they just save up for years to get that car. Anybody could save up for years and get the dream car that they want. I'm not using my against her. I don't care. Like like I said, if I want to go out and get a Mustang, I could have a Mustang right now. I'm living life right now. I don't care about none of that. I don't want to flex on my own people because that's just ignorance. Uh, it's immature. At some point in life, I, I hope people become like me and they uplift their people because we need it the most. All we do is hurt each other and flex on each other, argue with each other while the other races they come together as one you know what i'm saying i'm not flexing on my people i'm just not doing that people just flex the dumbest shit. it's just really unnecessary it was unnecessary for her to be hopping from apartment to apartment because she just ended up moving back in with her parents a lot of youtubers they'll often be like i'm going to college after high school they'll start going to college and i'm like she's not gonna stay eventually they're like yeah college is just not for me i'm gonna just stay at home and focus on YouTube. I'm like, you knew you didn't want that. You just wanted that for content. It's causing irritation or frustration as they have the financial freedom you wish you could. Owning two different Mustangs is unreasonable, but if you could, you would because it's luxury. No, I wouldn't. If I bought a Mustang, I'm sticking with that one Mustang. It's like people who buy iPhones. They wanna keep upgrading, it's unnecessary. At this point, I don't even think it's for themselves. It's for other people. But if you are that type of person going through financial crisis, I wish you nothing but the best. I hope you come up with a solution to your problem and not assume that everybody who speaks their mind is going through what you're going through. Clearly in this comment, she's reflecting her pain onto me and trying to make it seem like I'm that person that grew up poor and I'm reflecting my pain off of her by saying she shouldn't be doing that. No, it's okay. If you're not where you want to be in life, it's okay. But you don't have to reflect your pain on me. She's just going through a financial problem, basically, in life. And she's trying to reflect her financial problems onto me. I had a good childhood. I still have a good life. Like I said, if I didn't have a good life, I would not be on YouTube. This bubbly at all. And making videos on other people. Just honest opinions. It's not even hating. Like... I don't know how many times I have to say that, 
but it's not hating it's just telling the honest truth i watch people and then they start flexing and it's just like you went from being my favorite youtuber to a bragger and now i'm just not interested in your content anymore and that's okay and you have the right to speak out and i just happen to be a youtuber so i can make videos about it and whether they like it or not i got all of this on my own these are just honest opinions you guys can think what you want to think you're entitled to your own opinion if you think i'm doing this for clout and views cool but i know sincerely what i'm doing it for so what you say does not hurt me because i know what i'm doing this for sincerely 100 percent. you don't so it doesn't really matter and clearly i just bought a car I, I buy most of the clothes that are on my back most of the shoes i have on my feet i bought no one knows about me growing up without it all you can think of is what you would do with money and i'm sure you can relate on multiple levels i was a 90s baby so 90s baby we were into like outside we didn't care about getting cars at the age of 14 uh 15 16 17 no we were running outside with those nostalgic games, bubblegum, bubblegum, in a dish. I wasn't worried about getting no 2023 car at the age of 14. I wasn't thinking about men at the age of 14. It only lasts for so long, you flexing on people until they get tired. It's just honest opinions. I had a very great life. I still have a great life. I'm very grateful. I have a roof over my head and it's not just me targeting content creators if you don't like something that you're watching you can always stop watching it i unsubscribed i don't watch her anymore but i also felt like i wanted to speak about the situation and that's okay you can speak on what you want to speak on it doesn't mean that you're poor and you're reflecting your pain on someone <laughs> it doesn't mean that you're hating someone or bashing someone or you you're jealous I'm pretty sure you agree with some things in that video. Like, a lot of people agree with things. They just can't set their pride aside long enough to actually agree and really be like, she she did make valid points in this video. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to get on there and be like, you're wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. Da -da -da -da. No, but I'm not going to downgrade anybody's opinions or try to assume that somebody's unhappy in life and that's why they're saying what they're saying. Like, it has nothing to do with that. I just be laughing when people assume stuff about me. They think I'm old, they think I'm young, they think I'm... They be assuming the craziest stuff. If I really wanted a Mustang for my first car, trust me, I would have been saving up for years like Osley probably did. Just because I'm speaking out against somebody who is financially stable does not mean I'm not financially stable and I didn't grow up in the best household. I just sincerely disagree with what one of my ex favorite youtubers was slash is doing and that's okay i'm a viewer i can comment the comment section won't be there anyways i don't want this video to be longer than it is i promise the Aaliyah videos are coming back but i just wanted to branch out and get these videos off my chest whether people like it or not at the end of the day you should speak what you want to speak if you doing something wrong and i'm watching you and i feel like you you just doing the absolute most i'm gonna say something real viewer or not but anyways uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video stay crazy